In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make more sales from your website using the MailerLite email marketing service. So here I am at MailerLite. If I go to my account, you'll see that I currently have no subscribers and I've created a few groups. So first, let me show you what the website visitor, what your potential customer would see and go through that will help you generate more sales using MailerLite. So here's a quick sales page that I threw together. The person would click Enroll Now and it would then take them to a checkout page. Let me quickly fill out my details. Let me enter in my billing details. Now inside of our sales funnel, and I'll show you how you can do this in a second, we have the ability to add an order bump. So here we have an order bump offering the customer to purchase an additional product for an additional $9. I'm going to go ahead and check this off, and then I'm going to hit Submit Payment. What happens next is it then takes us to an upsell that we have in place. So here's an upsell, but let me real quickly go back to our MailerLite account. And now if I go back to our subscribers, you'll see we now have one subscriber. And if I go back to our groups, you'll see that that person purchased our main product. So here they are now subscribed to our main product in MailerLite. And they also purchased our order bump. So if we go back to our order bump group, order bump, they are also subscribed here. Here we are back at our sales funnel. So we have the ability to offer them an upsell, take them to the upsell that we want. Again, another real quick page for demo purposes I threw together. They have the ability to add this to their order for $199. They can click on the yes button or they can say no thanks, they want to pass on it. I'm going to say no thanks, I want to pass. So with our sales funnel, we then take them to a down sell. They have the ability to add something for $49. Do they want to add it? Yes. Or do they not want to add it? No thanks. I'm going to go ahead and say yes, we want to add this. So we add that to our order. And that's going to end our sales funnel for our demo, a real quick sales funnel that we have in place. We have a main product, an order bump, an upsell, and a downsell. So as you can see here inside of our order summary, the, purchase per the person purchased the ebook, they purchased our main course, and they also purchased our downsell. So now if I go back to our MailerLite account, as you already saw, they were part of the groups, the main product group and the order bump group. So while they didn't purchase the upsell, so there's still zero subscribers in there, but we did purchase, they did purchase the downsell. So now there's one subscriber in the downsell. So if we click on that group, you'll see that person has been added to their to the downsell. Now let me just real quickly show you again. I'm gonna open this in a new incognito browser. Let's take us through again and have the, the customer purchase the upsell. So I'm gonna enroll now again. I'm gonna use the same email address. Enter in the billing details. This time we're not going to purchase the up the order bump. Hit submit payment. We're taken to our upsell page. I'm going to go ahead and purchase it this time. So because we purchased the upsell, it's going to end our sales funnel. It takes them right to the order summary page where they purchased the course, the upsell. And now if we go back into our, ma our mailer light account, click on groups. So here's our upsell. We've now been added to that upsell because we purchased the upsell. So I'm going to show you in a minute or two here how you exactly set all this up, how you have the ability to create a sales funnel in a WordPress website and automatically add your customers to a specific group for depending on the specific products and or services they buy from you. But why is this important? How can this help you make more sales using MailerLite? So two main reasons. Number one, the sales funnel. Having a sales funnel in place is extremely important to generate more revenue from your website because probably the hardest if if not the hardest objective there is when it comes to selling a product or a service on a website is to get that visitor to get the potential customer to actually take out their credit card and give you money that's going to be the one of the hardest again if not the hardest objective that you can face when it comes to selling a product or service from your website so the sales funnel is important because once they take out that credit card and start paying you start giving you their money you want to keep that customer engaged on your website and with you as long as possible. So you're going to want to take them through a sales funnel where you can offer them more products and services that are, of course, valuable to them. By offering them more products and services to buy from you inside of your sales funnel, what that does is that gives you the ability to now increase the average order value of each customer that comes to your website. Now, the second part of it was, of course, MailerLite. So how was adding the 
customers to a specific group based off of the products that they purchased important to generate more sales from your website so it's important because when the person is being added to a specific group based off of the products or services that they're purchasing from you you now have the ability to send them targeted emails based off what they purchased so when we were added to the order bump list we knew that that person purchased the order bump from us so we don't necessarily have to send them an email in the future asking them if they would like to purchase that order bump that ebook again but if they're not added to the order bump list, if they didn't purchase the ebook from us, we should definitely send them an email telling them about the benefits of the ebook and why they should purchase it from us. So let me go ahead and show you how you can do that using the automation inside of MailerLite. And real quick, another little tip is that it's going to be a lot easier, a lot less expensive to sell current customers of yours, new products and or services than trying to acquire new customers. So let me just show you this automation. So if we go to the automation tab up here, I have a few automations in place. So here we are, we have an order bump. So let me go ahead and click on it and edit it so I can show you exactly what we have in place here to generate more sales through MailerLite. So let me edit the workflow. So here's our workflow, what do we have in place? So we have, a, we have in place when the subscriber joins the main product. So remember, let me take you to the sales funnel again real quick. So here we are inside of that main product, our sales funnel. So we have when a subscriber joins the main product, when they sign up for this main product here, they would add it to our main product list. Now, to get to the main product, you would simply click on it. Let me turn this off real quick. So we click on the main product. We say workflow trigger. When somebody subscribes to a group, which group? We want the main product group. What happened next? We want a condition. If they're added to what's the condition the group membership order bump if they're added to it if they're already on the order bump what happens the thumbs up sign here nothing if they're out of the order bump awesome nothing happens if they're not added to the order bump with this thumbs down red symbol what happens we want to send them an email after five minutes explaining the benefits of the ebook and giving them the chance to purchase that ebook again so what happens here we set up a delay five minutes and you can set up you know any time frame that you want that you think fits best for what you're trying to accomplish so they can actually purchase the ebook through the tools that we're using and again I'll show you the back end of it in a minute but they can actually purchase that ebook through the mailer light autoresponder that you're gonna send out directly from their email so let me preview this email real quick so here's our email really basic let me just copy this link real quick and let me bring it over to our mail, our sales funnel page. So let me go through this process again real quick for you and I can show you how that email is, is going to be very important and how you can generate some more sales from that email directly. So let me put in the information. So remember, we, we're not going to purchase the ebook, we're not going to purchase the order bump. We're going to hit submit payment. So this new customer purchased the main product they didn't purchase the order bump we're going to say no thanks to the upsell and we're going to say no thanks to the downsell so now this person if we go back to our mailer light account so now we have two people in the main product that person that we just purchased and that's the only group they're in we can see that by going down clicking on the subscriber and under here the group section you can see that only part of the main product so if we go back to our page where we purchased the sales the course that went through the sales funnel I'm gonna paste in that email so here's the email that we have set up that will go out because this person didn't purchase the order bump they didn't purchase the ebook five minutes after they successfully are added to the main product they successfully check out so here's our email that we would send to them and watch this if they click on that button add this ebook to my order for nine dollars that ebook has now been added to their order and you have successfully generated an additional sale. So now that's one way to generate more sales from your MailerLite account and your sales funnel. Now let me show you two other examples that I have that will help you generate some more sales. I just showed you how you can if they're not if they didn't purchase the order bump from you, you can sell them, upsell them on that. So now we also have offer upsell and downsell again. So as you saw inside of our sales funnel that we just completed, the purchase the person only purchased the course 
and we just actually added that ebook based off of the mailer light email that went out so let's say they don't purchase the upsell or downsell let's go ahead and deactivate this real quick let's go ahead and edit this workflow so here we are again inside of our automation so what happens the person purchases the main product so we want when a subscriber joins to a group over here on the right side they are added the subscriber is added to the main product so we want the main product group what happens next this one you know again you want to set up a delay I suggest an hour but at whatever time frame you think will work best we set up a delay of one hour so next we want to set up our condition what do we want to happen we any or all so do we want any of the conditions we have to apply or all of them so in this case we want all of them we want to add them to the upsell the group membership the upsell list and then the group membership and the downsell list so what happens on that condition if they're a part of any of them okay nothing thumbs up that's great they purchased either upsell or down from sell from us what happens if they're not part of either of those groups the red down thumb we want to send them a specific email because they we know that they didn't purchase not either the upsell or downsell so we're going to send them a specific email so let me show you that email real quick so it's going to be pretty much like a thank you email after they purchased the main product from us the main course so here's our email and inside of that email we have a uh, countdown clock for some urgency and then we have here the upsell and the downsell that we're going to give the person the ability to purchase again so let me go ahead and copy that desktop view the viewer in the browser if I bring that back over to our sales funnel so here's that email that they would receive now we're showing them we're giving them the benefits on why they should have purchased the upsell or the downsell and if the person goes ahead and clicks on it let's say they want to add the downsell to their order there you go they added the downsell so let's say again if we go back to that email real quick and they purchase the upsell this time automatically right through that mail or light email that you send out they are added to the upsell so you just generated even more sales directly through your mail or light emails that you have set up going out based off of the specific products and or services that the customer purchased from you inside of the sales funnel so hopefully you can see how powerful the sales funnel process combined with mail or light automation can be when it comes to generating more sales from your website so now let me just quickly take a couple minutes to show you how that's all set up in the back end now to do this you're going to of course need a mailer light account and then what gave us the ability to offer those order bumps and upsells and downsells is a plugin called the upsell plugin now this plugin works directly with wordpress any wordpress website that you have and it gives us all that awesome sales funnel functionality order bumps upsells downsells gives us the ability to add the customer to a specific list inside of your mailer account based off of how they based off of the products and or services that they purchase from you so here I am inside of the WordPress dashboard where we have that sales funnel in place so I have the upsell plugin installed and what you're gonna do is you're gonna once you have it installed you would simply come down to settings inside of your settings, there's a spot to add your MailerLite API key now to get your MailerLite API key you're gonna simply go to MailerLite you're gonna come down to integrations right here developer API click use and here's your API key that you're going to copy and paste into the upsell plugin settings right down here so next you're going to come back to the upsell plugin and you're going to create your products so I already have our products created but if you wanted to add new ones you would simply click add new So let me just show you real quick inside of the course one which was our main product couple things I'll go through real quick but it's you know if you want to learn more about the upsell plugin you can um, you have the price you have a payment is it single or is it a subscription if it's a subscription how often should be the recurring payment daily weekly monthly or yearly we're gonna stick with a single payment is it a physical type or a digital if you choose digital it opens up the digital tab you have the ability to add a download for them we're gonna stick with a physical tab so more importantly you're gonna now have this email marketing tab since we put in our mailer light api key you would then check it off and it's going to show you all of your mailer light groups 
So you would then simply select which MailerLite group you would want them to be added to. We want them added to the main product for this one. Select it, select it off, select main product, hit update, and now when they purchase the course from you, they're automatically going to be added to your MailerLite main course group. So you would simply do that for the rest of your products. Upsell A, for example. We set it up, go to the email marketing tab, come down to MailerLite. Which one do we want them a part of? Upsell. So add them to the hit update. And now when they purchase the upsell from you, they are added to your upsell list. So that's how you can add the customer to a specific list based off of the products and or services that they buy from your group. And then you can send them those targeted emails that can help you generate more sales through MailerLite. So again, hopefully you saw the power of your, the sales funnel and integrating it with MailerLite so you can start generating more sales from your website, increasing your revenue, increasing the average order value of your customers. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks.